All right, John Massey and Chopper 10, thanks so much. Look who's here. Hi. Face of Fox, Nick Vitale. He's been at it again for this uh, week's edition of Nick's Picks. You're asking people a very simple question, right? That what is, you reading? That is correct. I was lurking around MacArthur Center, uh, finding out what Hampton Rodians like to read. Hey, this is Nick Vitale, and we're hanging out at Barnes & Noble's, and I'm here for another edition of Nick's Picks. This is Nick's Picks. Books. What is your favorite book? Well, right now I'm only reading the textbooks, chemistry books, so. The Don Quixote is uh, it's one of the best uh, ever written books in Spanish. I actually have it on my phone. I have Don Quixote on my little iPhone, like a little app. I swear it's Are awesome. You ready? Yes. Are you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> no, I actually haven't, but I am now. It's an old school. It says Bible. The Bible. That's my favorite book. That's a good one. Can you give me a high five? What? Bam. Hey, Callie, what is your favorite Really? Which which princesses? It's Blue White. My favorite book would probably be of Mice and Men. Nice. That's, that's probably the only book I read in high school. So. Ever? Yeah, ever. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a movie, so I mean, you're one up on me. You're good. Phil Wiley's Disappearance. Disappearance? Disappearance. I'm not familiar with that. All right, one more question. I got $5. Can I have that hat? No. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. You do never give up the cap. You never no, give up no, the cap. Not, not My me. favorite book? Yeah. Who's, guy who, who's that guy who ran for? The Iacocca. The Iacocca. Now, that's a fantastic book. It's all, it tells all about leaders and how to be the best leader you can be. Awesome. Read it. Read if it. you want to be successful. In, in anything. In any business. Ever. Ever. In life. In life. Right. It'll take you to the top, without a doubt. Awesome. That's why I'm successful. What do you do if you don't mind my asking? A Bank of America. You own Bank of America. Yeah, I work for them. I thought you were talking about making it to the cop. I think they said taking it to the top. I was like, no way. Actually, our CEO is retiring, but no. So there you go. There's your in. You'd be like, I read Lee Iacocca. Did you see me put this big thing about math teasing in her? No, no. no, no. <laughs> oh, but that's okay. You're enjoying your munchos. I don't want to. I don't want to. Did you like one? Uh, absolutely. How can I turn down a muncho? Are you kidding me? <laughs> mm, so good. We can have our interview with not, not just chewing on munchos the whole time. It'll be fun. They're delicious. Come on. Come on. We'll do this. Come on. Put him on. Have him. Come on. What's your favorite book ever? Gone with the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Give my fresh friends a Bel Air outro. All right. Nick's picks. Officially. Number five. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows. I've finished this book in approximately 4.5 hours. At least that's what it seemed like. It was very good stuff. Nick's Picks number four, Zen in the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. There are certain parts where it does get very technical, but it's crazy in the philosophy that this man has and can relate it to absolutely anything. Zen in the Art of Motorcycle Maintenance. Number three, favorite book as a kid, A Light in the Attic by Shel Silverstein. I actually had to memorize a couple of these in elementary school, and I thought I could do it right now. Can't. Gone. Lost. But I can go back and read the book anytime I want to. Number two, favorite book, a new favorite of mine, The Tipping Point by Malcolm Gladwell. It is all about how little things can make a big difference, as you can tell, because it's written on the cover. Nick's pick number one, the book that pretty much motivated my life to get me where I am today, On the Road by Jack Kerouac. Very good stuff. On the Road. I'm not even going to tell you all about it. That's how much you need to just read it. So do it. This has been Nick's Picks. You have a good one. Reading. Have a good night. And day. And afternoon. In fact, just forever. Have fun. <laughs> it's morning. It's it. Hey, yeah. Well, I'm just, yeah, but in general. I just want everyone to have a good time all the time. Ask me, ask me, ask me. What is your favorite book, Carrie Fury? Um, well, what I'm reading now is this That's not what I asked, Carrie all Fury. All right. What is your favorite book? Well, like, favorite childhood book, Havoc the Wolf Dog. Oh. It's sad, though, but it has a happy ending. I love that. And I loved Tuesdays with Maury and the Five People You Meet in Heaven. Uh -huh. Both by Mitch Album. Okay. Really good books. Um, but I'm reading Walter Cronkite's autobiography right now, which I know <laughs> is, like, pretty cliche. It's called A Reporter's Life. I call it inspirational. It Well... You know, John has been talking about El Paso and because of the weird weather patterns there. Mm -hmm. And I used to work there at KTSM. And guess who else worked at KTSM in El Paso? Wally. Don't call him Wally. Mr. Wally That's Cronkite. That's Mr. Cronkite to you. <laughs> and, uh, no, I don't know. Yeah. Probably, there's probably people who would call Wally. But anyway, that was good. How about the guy with the cap and the matching coordinated sweater? Kind of jealous. Not even going to lie. Much. I had $5 in my pocket. That'll be Ready you. and willing to give to him. That'll be you. Someday you'll be able to afford the sweater that matches. I can't cap. wait. It'll be you. Okay.
be there. Read the uh, Leah Coca book and you will get there. I will be successful. Let's do this. All right. Still to come.